Hi, everybody. <clears throat> uh, working on my bloom technique today. Still working on um, getting it perfect. So we're going to put our color place on the tile. Now, some people wonder how much pillow do you use? So it for a tile, a four by four tile, it is about one and a half tablespoons. You really want to get it out almost to the edge. That is the key, no matter what size anything you do. Okay, so that's your pillow. Now, for the colors, um, you want to use about a half a tablespoon total of color. Okay, so that means... I'm going to use six colors here. I want to roughly have it be a half a tablespoon that I put down on the tile. So, and usually if you start out with about the size a little bit bigger than a quarter and you keep um, reducing that size a little bit with each color you'll end up with the right amount so what I have right there is slightly larger than the size of a US quarter now you'll see, I'm going to put this down and it's going to be a little bit thinner. Okay. And then I'm going to put the next color down. And again, this is one and a half teaspoons, uh, tablespoons worth of total color. because you need enough paint to go across the whole canvas. The bigger you go in size with um, you know, larger canvases, the more paint you're going to need to spread out over it. So with each color, I get a little smaller. And sometimes you'll have too much paint, and that's okay. You want more than rather not enough. Because if you don't have enough, you're not going to get over the edges. Okay. And you always want to end with a paint on top. I mean, that's not hard and fast rule, but it's a paint holds up your cell activator better than a pigment. Okay. Where did my skewer go? I try to always be ready for these. Ah, there it is. It's hiding from me. So we're going to pop the bubbles. Okay. We're going to bring it back to center. I'm going to use white cell activator today since I have a dark color down last. Now your cell activator, you want to be about the size of a five cent of a nickel. That's about a dime. Let's go a little more. 
All right, now we're going to take our leaf blower with no attachment. We're going to keep it up high. And we're going to come down. We're going to find our center and kind of blow it out. And then we're going to stay far away and we're going to blow out our petals. Now I'm going to start back here so I get most of the cell after. Oh, my cord is stuck. So we get this cell activator, blow it over the cell activator, and onto the paint color. And you don't want to get too close. Okay. Now, that leaves you with cell activator in the center. You could come back at it with the leaf blower and try to get some more cells in here. But here's what I'm going to use the turkey baster. And you want to keep this about an inch away so you don't get dense. And so that you don't get, so that you're not blowing so far down that you are going through to the pillow. You want to just get to the color. Now see how that color is coming up? It's beautiful. Okay, this is working much, much better. I'm trying to perfect this and I saw a video online would have been nice if we got some more cells out here, but we're going to stretch that because I used more pillow than I usually do. Okay, let's let that sit for a few minutes. Not a few minutes, a few seconds, 15, 20 seconds. Look at how all that white disappeared. We now have cells there. And I think we are about ready to spin. Now with that extra pillow, this should spread out more and it is gorgeous. And you want to spin until you can uh, tilt the object and make sure that it's not, oh yes, let's make sure it's not moving anywhere in the center, and it's really not. So, I think we have everything off of there that we need off of there. We'll give it one more go just to be sure so we don't get any cracking. Look at that. It's gorgeous. We have paint everywhere. I don't even need to touch up the edges because I used enough pillow paint. So I will take you down off of here. Let me, let me think if there's anything else that I want to tell you from what I learned. Um, so when you're, yeah, when you're blowing with the blower, you want to stay about six inches off. Before, I was down much lower, and I was just blowing lines and blowing away my cells. But about six inches, never closer than six inches high with the blower. Um, told you all that. Now, if you're going to do use your mouth to blow, you want to be about 20 inches off of here. You want to come down high and blow out your center and then do your puffs. So that's what we're going to do next. We are going to try a 
blow with the lungs. So I've got my little tin here, my two little cups I put on there, and I just transfer. This is beautiful. Best one I've ever done. We finally have the key. So I'm going to transfer this to this tray over here. Okay. Let me get a paper towel. Wipe off my messy fingers. And then we're going to get another tile. Center it on there. Okay. Let me grab my pillow paint. Again, we're going to put it on almost out to the edge. Like so. And maybe we'll mix up our color. Uh, no. Nah. We're going to use the same, no, we're going to switch the last one to get a different look and we'll use a black cell activator. No, we won't because I want to make a set of these. We're going to do it exactly the same. but we're going to blow with the mouth. So as compared to what I was doing before, I've used more pillow, more color and blue from further away. And that worked out perfectly. Much better quality bloom. See those bubbles are pesky. They come running right up to the top. Now I'm not very good at blowing from the lungs. So, I don't know why I don't have a lot of air or as much air in my lungs as some people do. I'm going to stir up my black cell. Oh no, wait, F bear. What am I thinking? It's early. About the size of a nickel. A little more. Okay. Now, I'm going to come down. Get my hair out of the way. <laughs> See? <clears throat> Here we go.
No. I don't. <clears throat> well, it's not too, too bad. But see, I didn't get out here. I'm going to come back with my leaf blower. Kind of try and fix that up a little bit. Okay. It's a little better. This is not going to have cells all over as much as the other one. I was definitely, what I've learned is I was definitely blowing too close before and which and that's just too much power and it's just it's just blowing out um blowing that cell activator down instead of out too much blowing i was doing before so this actually looks very nice i do not like blowing with the lungs i prefer to blow with the blower All right, and we actually got a good concentration of cells. We're missing some over here, but this, this is a beautiful bloom. We're almost there. I'm going to spin it the other way. And then I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Okay, this is very pretty. So let's get, let's make sure the edges are done and they are, this is beautiful. I'm going to have to sit and practice this blow with the lungs because wait until you see the difference here. This is very tricky. I'm just, oh, I'm almost losing it. Hold on a minute. I got to come back. We got troubles. I'll be right there. Cannot show you these while they're on the cups. Okay. Disaster was averted. So. This is the first one we did with the blower. This is the second one we did with the mouth. You see that the color is more concentrated in this one. It's less concentrated in here. So the blower is blowing a lot more than, than I can with my lungs, but I actually like this one better because you've got um, more definition of the colors. The colors are more vibrant instead of blown out. So I am definitely going to keep practicing um, with the lungs because I like that look so much better. So there we have it. I can't set this down or the bottom is going to get all full of paint. So I'm going to let you go. If you found this useful, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on the video, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.